everyone. Welcome back to the Diabetic Diet Show. Today I'm going to make a really neat Greek oregano chicken with orzo pasta. I'm also going to use some red peppers, some spinach, the oregano of course, tomatoes, I am using a red wine vinegar, tomato paste, garlic, and I'm using these chicken breasts. I have the water already boiling on the stove, so I'm going to go ahead and throw these in. So I'm going to set the timer for eight minutes. And that'll be for our pasta. Now, I need to start cutting up the chicken breasts right away. Because they're cold, I want to go ahead and get them cut up. So, I'm just going to grab my scissors, I have a trash can nearby. And I'll just get these out. And I'm just going to take a wooden spoon and give it a stir. Hopefully everyone knows the trick that you put it over the top of your boiling water and the wooden spoon keeps it from overflowing. Now I want to cut up my chicken. I like to wear gloves when I cut up the chicken. Some people put the chicken in the freezer for about 15 minutes before they cut it off. My refrigerator runs pretty cold. Let's see if I can keep from cutting the glove. <laughs> And if you do it this way, it goes pretty fast, it comes out real good. We're down to the last few seconds on that pasta, so I'm going to get this taken care of with some salt and pepper and then we'll get that pasta off the burner twenty four seconds I have already washed the spinach and I used a pepper that I've cut up already that's taken care of red wine vinegar I've poured it out have that all measured tomato paste I just gave it a squirt and the garlic we're gonna have to cut up here in a minute so let's go ahead and kill this timer and uh, get this pasta off spinach is done drip drying so I'll set that off to the side for now and then go ahead and get going on this garlic so for the garlic, I'm going to put my knife on here, just kind of try to flatten the bulb like that. There's a couple of really good bulbs out of there. You know, when this has been sitting for a little bit, it really comes apart nice. When it's fresh, man, you can drive a truck over it, it's not coming apart. Knock my ends off. And this is really one of the secrets to getting this to come apart. Take the ends off now rather than later. Ends are off. Keep scooping this off into my waste basket. I love I mounted a waste basket right there. It was one of the best things I ever did. I have a mat. And I will roll this. here. 
I think there's more than one bulb in there, it sounds like. Look at that, it just came clean. So nice. Let's do it again. look at it and if there's anything we don't like, the little spots you want to trim, this is probably a good time to do it. The mat worked without fail and you could, if you want, throw this on your counter and use it to put your spoons and forks on. I'm just going to rough cut this garlic just to get it a little bit smaller just so I can put it in my cutter. Here's my garlic cutter. almost threw it on the floor but I caught it in time. You can use a press, you can just use your knife, however you want to cut up your garlic. I like to do it this way. That's done. Now tomatoes and peppers. cherry tomatoes cut them in half if they're big like this one here is kind of big I might want to cut this three times but for this recipe you're basically cutting them in half there we go now red peppers the red peppers I cut and roasted Good, I think. The next step is going to be to get the pan going. Turn on the burner, olive oil, that'll get started in a minute. And I'm going to put the spinach in there. And all this big bowl of clean rinse spinach is going to reduce down to two leaves. <laughs> Think about spinach, it doesn't go very far. But it sure tastes good. Let's do that as a survey today. If you like the show, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell and you'll be notified when we have more videos coming. But today's question of the day, we're taking a survey. If you like spinach, hit the like button. So right now, everybody that likes spinach, hit the like button. We're taking a survey. Turning on the burner for the stove while the spinach is cooking. I'm starting in another pan some olive oil and the chicken. Time to throw the oregano on the chicken. You know the oregano is the Greek, oregano, lemon juice, and you can use fresh oregano or you can use powder, and the spinach needs to be swirled. I'll just go ahead and turn them over. 
when your meat is almost done and you're afraid it's going to dry out because it took time to cook it, you put some butter in the frying pan and then you spoon it on the meat. Wow, what a trick. Another person told me to put a lid on it and let it steam and that's what I've done in the past. And check right now and see what the temperature is on the chicken. Okay, it's only 150, so we have a little bit of time. So the next thing we're going to do is get this garlic in here and cover it so that it steams. That'll finish cooking the chicken, soften up the tomatoes, and uh, the chicken will not get overcooked that way. I'm going to, to the next step. I need to pull this spinach off this burner and I need to dump it in with the spaghetti pasta. So I'm just going to leave it there to cool and I have to drain the pasta. I have rinsed the orzo pasta. Now it's time to take and pour our vinegar in with our red peppers. Let's check our chicken. Starting to look good. Let's just turn some over. They're starting to brown. You'll notice I cook slow and low, so I like to cook low and slow. I'm not in a big hurry. I'm trying to make really delicious food rather than dinner in a hurry. You know, because dinner in a hurry is Burger King or McDonald's. I can put the tomato paste in here now too. The wooden spoon works best for stirring this. In just a little bit, I'm going to pour in a quarter cup of water. I don't want to put it in now though because it's going to lower the temperature. But you want to keep an eye on the temperature of your pan and make sure you don't burn your tomato paste. This smells wonderful. It smells delicious. Let's take a look at our temperature again. See where we are. Okay, it's 164. That's it. Pour the water in. Turn the burner off, give it a stir, mm. let's take the lid off, and as you can see, it's steaming nicely, which means it's going to be juicy. So let's go ahead to the next step and get our pasta delivered out to the plate and the meat Then some cheese on top. There 
there you go. That is my show for the day. I hope you enjoy it. Please remember to subscribe. Remember to hit the thumbs up button if you like spinach. And we'll see you on the next show. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.